Coding has always been the ultimate test for AI. Why? Well, because unlike a poem or a conversation, the code does not tolerate mistakes. It's pure logic. And if an AI makes a wrong move, the whole thing breaks. So that's why coding has always been this milestone that matters. It actually proves that the machine can plan and execute and reason and at the end actually solve problems. But now, thanks to generative AI, the whole field and the whole definition of coding is dissolving. What a developer will look like in 2026? What coding will look like in 2026? Even a year ago, the things that are going to happen in the next few months were impossible to imagine. I talked to the researchers and leaders from Google DeepMind, Rapid, Cursor, Minimax, and others, and they say that the job of a developer is about to change forever. And we are moving away from writing code ourselves to managing a fleet of agents that do it for us. Here's how it's going to look. Watch. I think that 2026 is the year that we lose the IDE, that nobody's going to be using them anymore by summertime. We're going to be switching to uh, or agent orchestrators, which are a lot like an IDE in that they're integrated and it's your console where you see everything, which in my opinion is a lot better than what we have today with Claude Code, right? Nobody likes the command line interface, right? I mean, it's just not, it's not it. And then that thing is going to be, uh, you'll come in in the morning with your coffee and you'll be like, how did my agents do last night? and it'll show you this one's stuck, this one's finished, this one needs your help, right? That's the way it's gonna be. And I think it'll happen next year. I see companies building it already. I'm building one, a bold prediction. All right, look, my hot take is, if you're still using an IDE by next summer, you're not a good engineer anymore. And uh, that's gonna be really, 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 really hard for most of the world's engineers to swallow. It's gonna be tough. So I feel bad for them. I feel bad. This is the reality. No more IDEs. So go learn coding agents. Learn Claude Code or Codex or AMP or Cursor or Klein or whatever, okay? But make sure it's the agent, okay? Get ready for next year. The tools will get better, but you can start building those skills now. Next year will absolutely be the year of non-technical people coding. It's already happening in a big way. Next year it's gonna be just everyone. You know, I like what Carpathia has talked about around the decade of agents. It still feels incredibly early in terms of like actual enterprise companies adopting coding agents at scale and deploying it for gnarly code bases, you know, enterprise code bases, you know, Java, C++, C Sharp, not just the in the distribution things like JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, which there's plenty of. I think 2026, we'll see models get much better at that. I would love, I'm not an ML researcher, but I would love if we started to make more progress on more continual learning of models. Right now, you know, it's like you wipe the model's memory clean every single time. More ways that we can help the models learn over time like real colleagues, I think will be amazing. We can we can bridge the gap with markdown files. You know, we can bridge the gap with context engineering. But more of that that can be built into the model layer, I would love to see. I know it takes some takes some breakthroughs in ML, but hopefully we'll get there. It's still going to be the hero of agents, to be honest. I know that I'm biased because that's exactly what we're going to be building. But I don't think it has been only 2025. I think it's going to be the decade of agents. We just barely started to see autonomous workloads running on coding agents and they're far from being perfect for several different reasons. So I expect architectures with more sub-agents. I expect products that allow you to orchestrate several agents yourself. So like even the next version of Rapid Agent, you will be able to run several of them in parallel, see the results that you get, cherry pick the one that you prefer. I think 2026 agent users will become more managers than ICs. I'm gonna give you two predictions, one about agents and one about AI in general. The one about AI in general, I'm very excited about anything regarding robotics. I do think we're gonna start to see some assistants at home performing basic tasks. And there are a lot of announcements that, you know, videos that we've been seeing in the last couple of months, of course, some of them are hype. There is like a ground truth there. There is, there is something that's already working well enough and I can't wait to buy one for myself. On the, <laughs> I bet. On the coding agent side, in a sense, is a, is a boring prediction, but if you extrapolate from how much more powerful they've become in the last 12 months, imagine where we're going to be you know, at the same conference next year. I expect millions of users, non-technical users, to become proficient at using coding agents. That's exactly the, the company mission that, that we have. And I expect most of them to create something far more advanced than just prototypes. That's what I promise to our users in the next year. 
I think it'll be a year of, of understanding. So for me, I work in the education space, and it's been really cool at this conference this week to meet all of these really intelligent and smart people who are working on really interesting problems. And I think that we're all sitting at the bleeding edge of this, and I'm excited to advocate for it to the broader developer audience um, and have them all learn about these things and improve their own software development experience. Definitely a year of multimodality because we see Gemini 3 and also for us because we are a lab that has like video generation, music generation, all the mod modalities. So I think that's where we kind of move to like how human really interact with the world and you know, uh, can you do agentic tasks that are multimodal? That's definitely one of the themes. Anti-gravity introduces a lot of new patterns that are, I would say, new. Computer use, relatively new. Image gen in coordination with code gen is also relatively new. So the multimodal modality of things is I, I hope, I believe, or I have conviction that this is an avenue that more and more people are going to hop onto. So I'm excited to see what people do with this in 2026. I'm also excited for, I mean, models are just going to get better, right? So they're going to be really good models, but then I'm also excited for really fast models. The models have different characteristics, right? And so you can imagine like a flash model being very good, it introduces different form factors than a very, very smart, long running thinking model. And so I'm excited for what 2026 has in store there. And then there's other stuff like uh, world models. So cool. Would love to actually use them in like kind of my consumer daily life. Haven't found a use yet, but that's been pretty awesome. I want to try like some AR stuff. I haven't yet. So I'm a cyclist. It'd be really cool to have more cyclist like wearable type things. So yeah, a lot of things to look forward to. I think 2026 might be the year of voice agents. Voice is really, really hard. I don't spend a lot of time in voice, but I know that from a technology standpoint, from an engineering standpoint, from doing like asynchronous programming and optimization, it's really, really hard. So I think it would be cool if 2026 was the year of voice agents. Of course, 2026 being the year of no slop would be great. I would love to see that. No slop AI coding 2026 doesn't have a good ring to it. So uh, those, those are my bets. Thank you for watching. That was attention span and the predictions about coding in 2026. I'm very interested in your opinions, please leave a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, peers, and even enemies. Thank you so much. I wish you very, very happy holidays, and we'll see you soon.